going to be testing this flashlight out tonight, but before we do that, I want to roll in some of this footage so you have a clear idea in your mind what it looks like. This is the Olight PL2 Valkyrie. Valkyrie PL2. Anyway, this is the light. Operation wise, it has this button right here on this side. It also has the same setup on the other side. Quick press turns on the flashlight, leaves it on. Another press turns it off. This will do the same. Press and hold will turn the light on and then when you let go, turns it off. Other side will do the same thing. And then you hit them both together, there's your strobe. Now, let's wait for it to get dark. Let's do some shooting with the light. My son and I came out, we're gonna do a quick overnight, but part of the reason we came out is to test this Olight Valkyrie PL2. We're gonna do some night shooting, attach this to some pistols, have some fun. Two guns we're gonna run this on today is the Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm and a Glock 19 9mm. So uh, do some about 50 shots out of this one, 50 shots out of that one. We'll see how it goes. One thing I noticed there is when I'd shoot, I think I'm preferring my thumb to operate the light, but if I press and hold and I shoot, it kind of pops my thumb off automatically. So press and hold, meaning as soon as I want to let go, it turns off the light. So I press, I shoot, and the recoil kind of takes my thumb off it somehow, and the light automatically pops off. Something to note. Yep, okay, rack it and shoot when you're ready. Change me mags. Okay, now stop. Now turn the light off. Do that hold and fire? Yeah, just do, now play around with it, see what you like. Turn the strobe on, see what you think. Oh, shooting? Yeah. Ah, oh, that hurt. That's hard. <laughs> cool. What'd you think? Uh, it's hard with the strobe. It's, it's hard with though. the strobe? Yeah. It's really fun, though. All right, now we're gonna move over to the Glock 19. See how this handles it. I think already, the Glock 19 versus the Smith & Wesson. The Smith & Wesson is more full size. So the Glock 19 mid-size gun, I can already tell I can get my finger on it better this way. It's a little bit more of a stretch for me personally on the Smith & Wesson M&P.
All right, there you have it. So that's the first 100 rounds through it. We're just out kind of playing, testing tonight as we're doing a little camping. Um, that's a lot of fun. I've had one uh, gun light before, but it, it was a very old one. And so I, I actually sold it to somebody because I wanted to upgrade, get something newer technology. So this one was pretty fun. I do notice a big difference between, uh, for several different things, between the Glock and the Smith & Wesson. Not, not the brands, but the size of the gun and how the flashlight sits on. For example, when I'm on the Smith & Wesson, if I do my thumb to do this button, so it has buttons on both sides that does the same thing. I'll point it down. So if I do that and shoot, I was able to hold my thumb on that button on the Glock. But on the Smith & Wesson, the full size, as opposed to this mid-size, for me, what I noticed is when I'd shoot, it'd kind of pop it off my thumb, and so it automatically turn the light on if I had the flashlight in that mode. Um, the mid-size gun, again, a lot easier for my uh, pointer finger to uh, activate the switch. And interestingly enough, Shooting the Smith & Wesson was really easy for me in the sights, but when I transitioned to the Glock, oh my gosh, I, I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, and then I had to kind of dial it in. The light just threw me off for whatever reason. So yeah, that's what I noticed. What did you notice? Uh, with the sights, I was the exact opposite. I was able to hit better with the Glock. I think it was the iron sights are glow-in-the-dark. Well, they're, but... they're both glow-in-the-dark, oh, actually. Are? Yeah, but oh. I think these do show up better, nice. but they still, they're not like you normally see, at least from my experience, they were... They still, um, they're not as bright for sure, right? Because you got all that light up in front, so it kind of drowns them out a little bit. For, to my son's point, the Smith & Wesson, I couldn't even see that they were glowing. All I could see was a silhouette of the actual actual sights themselves. Uh, this one, so you could actually see these. Yeah, I could see those a lot better. That's because he has young eyes. My eyes are old. <laughs> but I could barely see these glow. Uh, where the the Smith and Wesson so they're two different night sights on each gun. I couldn't see that at all. Okay, that was fun Just yeah. a little light testing. Thanks. See ya